I ran a mile every day for 30 days. Call it spring, like everything's new. The sun burst flowers, calling on warm days over to you. But I... And somehow I have survived to tell the story. I'm just kidding. People who run in school and stuff and like in college for cross country and track run it every single day. I am here today to tell you how it went and what my results were and what I accomplished and stuff like that. I started off this challenge really strong. I was motivated and I was like, yep, we are not going to be getting a Corona body because we do not want that. We are gonna be coming out of Corona blown up. I just ran the worst mile I I literally have ever run in my entire life and I'm just gonna leave it at this I hate running outside I've come to the conclusion I hate it with everything inside of me the reason why I don't like it is because of this feeling and this feeling like because of the coldness like the my throat hurts so bad maybe I'll get used to it as we go on but right now it's a no for me. Hi guys, it's day two and I'm about to go for a run. Um, the reason I'm in my car right now is because I'm gonna go try to run somewhere else that's not around my house. Uh, there's a little trail like by where I used to live that I know of. So I'm gonna try to go there and see if it's open because it might not be because of the coronavirus. I just finished taking my progress pictures. I did it on day two because I forgot to do it yesterday. It's not gonna be that big of a difference from day one to day two. And I did body measurements this time because I feel like that has a lot more value in knowing what your results were from day one to day 30. I'm very unimpressed with myself and I'm actually really upset with the photos that I took. I am so bloated and I'm like, I'm eating too much bad stuff I'm eating way too many cookies like I literally ate six cookies today I'm not even kidding and that's basically the only thing that I've eaten and like a bite of mac and cheese and I'm drinking way too much Starbucks and coffee that's not good for me so I need to stop and slow it down so that the corona does not take over my body Hi guys, my car, I mean my camera's gonna die. I ran a mile and then I was like this literally, I'm not even feeling anything. Like I was breathing heavy the whole time, not the whole time, but like I was breathing heavy. But then when I stopped, like my, my breathing immediately went down. Like I was not breathing heavy when I completely stopped. So then I waited five minutes and then I ran another one. And I was thinking I'm like two miles is literally nothing compared to all these cross country people who are running 10 miles a day, not actually, but 10 miles a day. And then I remembered back and I was like, in middle school, after running one mile, I was literally dead. Like I could not run a 10 minute mile without absolutely dying. And I just ran a nine minute mile and then ran another mile, 10 minute mile right after that. And it's kind of crazy to like think about that. It's only day two, so this obviously isn't gonna be everyone's result, but I've been running now on the treadmill for like three months and I wasn't even like trying that hard, but I was just like running more often. So I feel like that's why it's already easier for me. So yeah, that was day two. I'm really happy with how today went. So I'll see you guys tomorrow to run another mile. Just finished running a mile. And my dog is back there. I have to carry my dog all the way around because she's just little and she doesn't want to walk. Look it. So tired. So the first two weeks were not easy, but they were easy to get into the run. It was easy to wake up and like, I was actually excited to do this challenge and run and get my mile time better and stuff like that. Yesterday I came to the conclusion that I don't really know whether or not I want to focus 
on long distance, like getting to run three or four miles without stopping, or if I wanna lower my mile time first. Today, I'm gonna try to lower my mile time because yesterday, for some reason, I was able to lower it by 30 seconds. So I'm gonna see if I can get any lower today. I don't think I will be able to. If I can get it down to like eight minutes, then that's when I'll start working on my long distance, I think, I don't know. I just finished my 10th mile of this challenge or the 10th day. I've actually run more than 10 because I haven't run one mile every day. I kind of ran more some days. I am gonna give you analytics from Thursday and Friday because I forgot to like say stuff and I have things to say. Two days ago, my goal was to get a 850 mile and I didn't end up doing it. I think I got around a 905, but I can't really say because I don't have the single mile time. I was kind of upset because I really wanted to get an 850 because I just did. Then on Friday, what happened was I ran four and a half miles. I obviously didn't run all of them. I did the first one for time. Then I like walked a half mile and then I ran and then I walked and then I ran and then I walked. My first mile, I got a 9.02. But here's the thing about this. Basically what happened was I was running on my street and I came to a stoplight. So I didn't really know that you could pause the watch. So what I did was I ran in place and then I just counted how many seconds I was at the stoplight so I could subtract it from my overall time. So technically I kind of ran a little bit longer, but like not really. Um, but it was 18 seconds that I was at the light. So then I subtracted 18 from 9.02, which was an 8.46. I think today's gonna be the first day that I'm not able to run, maybe tomorrow too. It is currently raining outside and it says it's gonna be raining for the rest of the day. And it's all basically at 90% or 100%. And this is even tomorrow. So it's constantly gonna be raining. And if it were any other time, I would go to the gym and just run on the treadmill, but the gym is closed and I don't have a treadmill at my house. And like, I would still go if it wasn't like raining too bad, like it was drizzling, but it's raining, raining. It's like off and on raining, raining like bad and it's freezing cold outside. So I don't know what to do because I don't want to skip a day. Like I want to go outside and run, but I, I just don't think I can because first of all, it's just not safe. And second of all, it's freezing. Week three rolled around and oh my gosh, this might've been the hardest week of my entire life. I think I say that in every single one of these videos that I do which if you want to go watch my other ones there's a card up there that you can go click and watch them after you watch this video obviously and I don't know if I hit a wall or if it was hormonal things I don't know because I don't know what the problem was but I was just so tired every single day I could barely even get up to go and run I could barely even run a one mile and I was just having headaches and I was feeling it so bad and I was like I don't know if I can finish this challenge obviously I did because I'm not a quitter I just got dressed to go on my run it has been raining all day so this is gonna be fun I don't really feel like it I don't really want to run but I'm not a cheater I'm gonna do it, it may not be good but I'm gonna do it there's a puppy outside. It's going to start raining at, it's gonna start raining at one and it's 11.30 right now. So I am drinking my pre-workout and I'm going to go on my run. And this is the earliest I've ran this whole entire challenge. So if it starts raining, I'm gonna start crying. I'm soaking wet like right when I started to walk. It started drizzling and then I started running and it started pouring rain, but I still did it anyways, but it was not fun. But I think if I didn't have this pre-workout, wouldn't have happened like my leggings are all wet too and everything on me is all wet but of course <laughs> I'm back inside now and it stopped raining. Hi guys, I'm currently filming on my phone, so if the quality of audio is super bad, then that's why, and I'm sorry. But I just wanted to say something really quick. I just went for a run and I haven't updated you guys in a while. It is the three week mark today, so I have, one, I have seven days to go. I've been noticing that has, not only do I not really want to do it anymore, but like also, I'm just tired and like I can't, I'm not doing it as well as I used to be able to. For beginner runners, which I am that, uh, if you do too much too soon, your body will be deprived of glycogen. It'll just feel really tired and it will feel really, really hard. And I think that's exactly what's happening to me. 
But, um, so I don't really know what to do. I'm going to try to push through as much as I can, but I think I really need a break because I have not, I've missed one day out of 30 days, and that was just because it was raining. Like, I would have gone if I could have, but then the next day I ran two miles, plus some of these days I've been running, like, one to four miles. So, I think I'm just doing way too much, plus I'm not giving myself any rest days, and it's getting really difficult. So I just got back from my run, and I'm in my bathroom right now because I don't feel like having my family live listen to me so yeah it's not really like my bathroom my room is right there because i don't have a door in my bathroom because the house didn't come with a door whoa oh no 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 i was thinking about just uh ignoring my whole problem that i'm having right now and just making it seem like everything was fine and like i was getting better and everything was going perfectly fine but then I'm like, I'm not going to do that because that's just fake news. And I'm going to tell you the truth on like how I feel and what's actually going on. This past week has been so difficult to even get myself up to run because of so many reasons that I don't know what the reason. It's not even that. Like, I I want to go run. Like, I want someday, like yesterday, I really wanted to run. Like, I was excited to get better and stuff like that. But then when I start running, I'm really tired and I just get tired really easily. The past two days, I have not even been able to have have not even been able to run a full mile like I had to stop because I was so tired there's so many reasons that could be behind it, but I can't figure it out I don't know if it's because I have not given myself a break I don't know if it's because I'm just like in my head about it and like my mental state is not good and I'm telling myself that I'm tired and I'm telling myself that I can't do it or that I don't want to do it and then it's kind of affecting how I run and like when I'm on my run I'm like I want to stop now like in my head I'm, I'm telling myself negative things but like today I tried to tell myself no you can do it you can do it and I still was like so exhausted or if it's because of my diet and I don't think I'm drinking enough water I really 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 more than anything wanted to get my mind time down to at least an eight minute but i don't think that's gonna happen and i'm okay with that i'm going to hit it one day but maybe not this month because things have been happening and just something my body just isn't feeling it i kind of just try to push through it and did as much as i could and then this past week the last week has been so much easier than the third week besides the fact that it has been 90 degrees outside the past week but i still ran and i was able to run the whole thing but it was really hot outside Hello to my subscribers. It's 1040 and tomorrow is the last day of this challenge and it does not feel like that. And the last time I talked to you, I was talking about how I just couldn't run anymore. Ow! What the heck is wrong with me? My eyes twitching and I'm slapping myself. Guess what? I fixed it. I don't know what was going on with me for like that whole week. But now I'm back and better than ever. I don't know if it's because I've been seeing so many running TikToks all over my For You page. So it's like motivating me. But the past two days, it has been 90 degrees outside. Like 85 and 90 degrees. And I almost died, but I still ran. Two days ago, I ran three miles. And today, I ran almost two. Oh my God. I still look like almonds. I have to be quiet because my family is sleeping. But I just got ready to go on my last run of this challenge. I don't think I'm ready. I've somehow got myself up. It is 8.30, but I got up at 8 and I'm so tired. I couldn't fall asleep till like 12 because it was so hot in my house, but I'm up. I set goals. I didn't really set them. I didn't write them down or anything, but I really wanted to run an eight minute mile. I've never run an eight minute mile before. I'm just gonna say it. I've never run, run an eight minute mile before because I am not a runner. I will be a runner one day, but I am not a runner because I suck at it. But the closest I got was an 846. The fastest mile I've run is an 820 and that was a while ago, but I'm gonna keep working towards it and I'm gonna get it one day, maybe not one month because I started at a 10 minute mile. It's like a 10.30 actually. I think that's the longest I got. And I brought it down to an, a consecutive nine minute easy. And now it is easy for me to run nine miles. I mean, what? It is easy for me to run nine minute miles and I'm not really out of breath. I mean, I am a little bit, but like I'm, I could keep running if my brain works. Um, another thing that I really wanted to do was kind of get my mileage up. I wanted to be able to run longer distances, maybe four miles. 
I'm gonna start with four miles and I wanna be able to do that in like within the year. Let's make that a goal for, let's make a new goal. Right here, saying it in the video, it's better than writing it down, saying it in a video. I'm going to be able to run four miles straight in the next year. Another thing that I think that I need to work on is really just my endurance because, especially going up hills because I'm really bad at that. I think I'm gonna start doing sprints and stuff like that and um, running up hills, like just find a hill and just keep running up and down it. And so I can get better at that. I just wanna get better at um, running next the moment that you've all been waiting for and the only reason that you probably clicked on this video and you probably didn't watch the video you probably just wanted to see the results let's be honest and if that's you girl don't cheat go back and watch the whole thing because that's only fair i'm your guinea pig and i'm doing your the hard work for you to see if it's actually worth it so you can go back and watch my video okay i finally measured my body and i'm so glad that i did because i would not have seen a difference if it weren't for me measuring because it's written in numbers that my body actually changed because to be honest I cannot see a difference in the pictures maybe you can judge for yourself I'm just gonna tell you my results right now from my notes because I wrote it down in my notes this was 30 days ago today on March 27th my arms we're gonna start off with the arms because that's the part that least that changed the least because you don't run with your arms you run with your legs so the arms aren't gonna really change a whole lot especially because it's only a mile and you only burn like a hundred calories when running a mile or like 200 around my left arm on day one was 11 and a quarter inches. On day 30, my left arm was 11 and a quarter inches. So it did not change at all. On day one, my right arm was 11 and two fourths inches, two quarters of an inch. And on day 30, my right arm was 11 and a quarter inches. So we lost a quarter of an inch on our right arm. I don't really know how. I think it might be because I have been doing a lot of um, exercises with my arms obviously well, I always feel like my right the right side of my body is being worked harder than my left and I don't know why but it's fine with me because I just evened out my arms anyways so we're good now we are even next our legs so my left leg on day one was 24 inches and on day 30 my left leg was 23 and a quarter inches so I lost three quarters of an inch on my left leg which is bomb that's awesome then on day one uh, my right leg was 24 and a half inches so it was half an inch bigger than my left leg and on day 30 my right leg was 23 and a half inches so we lost a whole inch off of our right leg so I need to even out my legs still I don't know really how to do that I'm kind of working on that I need to even out my body because I can tell that it's uneven like with my eyes I don't know if it's just me you tell me but I think my body's uneven okay I've never said this before in my life out loud but one of my most insecure things on my body is my legs the outer thing of my legs I think it's called a saddlebag but I feel like it's turning more into a hip dip I don't know if it's called a saddlebag or a hip dip but it's there just because genetically I have a really big ass um I really hated it at first but now since everyone likes it I'm starting to like my butt but I just need to like tone her out a little bit more but um I measured that area of my body just to see kind of if it would get bigger if it would get smaller but now I'm noticing that that area is kind of how big my butt grew and unfortunately my butt actually shrank but my butt went down a fourth of an inch because it was 41 and a fourth on it was 30 it was 41 and a quarter oh my god that's so freaking huge 41 and a quarter on day one and it was 41 on day 30 so either my butt shrank or my hips shrank or my saddle bags up because it's my butt pressing against my leg to like make a fat deposit right okay anyways no one really cares but that's just i measured that as well if anyone was wondering my waist my waist on day one was 30 inches and my waist on day 30 was 29 and three quarters of an inch so we went down a fourth of an inch which is actually really good um i measured myself like at the beginning of the year and my waist was at 30 points so I've almost got, gone down a whole inch off of my waist since January then the last part that I measured was my hips I don't know why I just did that because I wanted to get as much information as I possibly could on day one my hips were 35 and a half inches and today they are 35 and a quarter inch so we lost a quarter of an inch on our hips so those are my results to be honest I think it was pretty worth it um I don't really lose weight that easily like it's pretty 
freaking difficult for me to lose weight or like lose inches off of my body and this kind of did the trick which obviously shows that running is a really 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 awesome way to not only like mentally make you healthier but also physically which is really awesome um so i really recommend it even if you're not good at it literally just running a mile is it's pretty easy and it gets easier as you do it it's pretty beneficial in my opinion so yeah ever since corona started i have been very very bloated so i'm not usually this bloated once i get my eating patterns on track which i probably will like right now i'm trying to right now i will go down my bloating and stuff like that so i don't know if my waist is that accurate it could be smaller i don't know but those are my results and now for the pictures if you want like the actual results in pictures to see side by side before and afters here they are right now i looked at them before i filmed this video and i don't see that huge of a difference i can kind of a little tiny tiny bit tell that my legs shrunk a little bit but it could just be me because it's my body you might not see a difference at all but let me know that's gonna be the end of this video and i'm gonna go before i melt in this car if you guys want to try this challenge do it and dm me on instagram if you do and like show me your before and afters because i'm actually really curious and i love watching these videos and yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram and follow me on tiktok because i post pretty good content over there if you like my content on youtube you will love my tiktok so don't forget to go and follow me there and don't forget to like this video to show me that you liked it and so that i will do more of these videos and don't forget to subscribe down below to support me and comment down below comment down down below if you want to and i'll see you guys all again in my next video Baby.